What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you very quickly how to submit your free WordPress blog to Google's site index. Before I continue, guys, if you like my content, you end up liking this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for notifications. Moving on. So we're starting in the back end of WordPress.com. Now, if you have multiple sites, um, you're going to see a switch site button here at the top left. You want to click that and select the website that you want to set up on Google or submit to Google rather. So now that I've got my site selected, we're going to go over to the tools tab and then go to marketing. Now you'll see that there's a banner here that says boost my traffic as well as a traffic tab. Those actually lead to the same place and that's where we want to start. So we're going to go to the traffic tab and you'll see that there's a couple of banners here that uh, try to entice you to get a paid account, that's up to you. This video is just about how to set up in a free account. Um, these do offer some very good in-depth SEO tools that are really good if you guys want to really grow your presence on Google and be able to drill down to each page and improve your SEO. But again, let's stick to the topic. Um, right down here at the bottom of this page, you'll see a blank here for Google. Bing, Pinterest, and Yandex. Now Bing, Pinterest, and Yandex, you can do this on a future date. Uh, the process is actually very similar, but today we're focusing on Google. Now, if you notice, there's two things. First of all, there's a, a link to go Google Search Console, and there's a couple of links for uh, sitemaps up here. We're gonna be using these in a minute, so keep those in mind. So let's go ahead and start by going to Google Search Console. Now. I've already got an account set up, so that's why you already see that uh, there's stuff here. Now, I'm going to talk about this in a bit because as you can see, it is that travel blog, that fake travel blog that I set up for you guys when I showed you how to set up your free WordPress.com website uh, in the first place. And we're going to head back to this because I just added this to Google Search Console a couple of days ago for this video. Now, because you can't add a site twice, it's really hard to like unverify a site. I went ahead and created a new one. So if you're uh, like me and you've got multiple sites on Google Search Console, you're going to click here and you're going to go down to add property. Now, if you don't, you're going to want to create a account with Google Search Console first. And you can do that by Googling Google Search Console. And I'm going to use this link down right here that says Google Search Console and then search hyphen console. That'll lead me to a page that leads me directly to uh, setting up a new site. However, um, if you don't have an account, you will be asked to create an account and then you'll be led to this step. So sooner or later, you're going to get here, uh, whether you're here on, uh, on a page where you've already got an existing account or you're setting up a new one. As you can see, this window is actually exactly the same. So I'm going to head back over here and close the other tab. And we're going to focus on this side here. It's the URL prefix section. So we're going to click over there. And in this blank, we're going to copy and paste the URL of the blog. To find that, we're going to head over here, go to site title, open up uh, your site in a new tab. I'm sorry, go to visit site. And then uh, we're going to copy and paste that URL right here and hit continue. Now it's going to give you some verification options. We're going to select this HTML tag option and then copy that tag. And we're going to paste it back on that page we were on. So, you know, just to recap, we went over to the tools tab down to the marketing section and then traffic. And then right down at the bottom where it says Google, we're going to go ahead and paste in that tag. So now we've got the tag pasted in there and we're going to hit save. And then we're going to go back to Google search console. And then we're going to hit the verify button. So make sure you're hitting this verify button down here and not this one up here under HTML file. So I'm just going to collapse that so we don't get confused. And where it says HTML tag, we're going to hit verify. And voila, now we verified. So I'm going to hit done. And then I'm just going to go over to the property we just created. Now, as you can see, it says it's processing data and uh, to check back in about a day or so. So while that's happening, I'm just going to head over here to the sitemap section. Now, remember I told you guys to focus on that or to notice that sitemap section in WordPress. And the reason is, is because we want to submit a sitemap to Google. 
Now what this does is it tells Google all of the URLs that are on your site. And this is automatically generated by WordPress, which is beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste that last part. So after the last forward slash, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that part and then paste it into this blank and hit submit. There you go. Now it successfully found eight URLs on this site, more than likely because there's a bunch of uh, example data or something on the site. So um, that's there, that's done. And like I said, this is gonna take about a day or so. On uh, the site submission that I did a couple of days ago, um, it actually took about 36 hours before I noticed it. I submitted it about 10 p.m. I didn't really check at night the next day and I noticed it the following morning at 10 a.m. So in total, that was about 36 hours before I noticed it. It probably happened sooner, more than likely while I was sleeping or something and I just didn't notice it. However, it happened, I refreshed and I ended up with something like this. And of course, this isn't a site uh, that I get a lot of traffic on. It's one that I actually set up for you guys to demonstrate how to set up a free WordPress blog in a previous video. So that's where I had actually set it up just to kind of test it. And then of course, uh, created a new blog for this site. So guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, as always, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section below. As a matter of fact, this video came from an idea uh, and a question from the comment section. So thank you so much to everybody who has been commenting asking questions. I really appreciate the the discourse and the discussion and I'm always here to help. I'm, I love testing this stuff out. If I don't know the answer, um, I'll help find it for you guys. So thank you again for the comments and the awesome feedback. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing here. So guys, if you like this content, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course, ring the bell for notifications. Thanks again, guys.